If you're like me, you're finding all these subscriptions totally overwhelming. It's like subscription, 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 subscription. It never stops and I'm like, had it up to here and it's killing my wallet. Unfortunately, the beloved Blink camera is joining the subscription party this January 1st, 2021. That's really nice to say. Anyway, the good news is there's actually a way to set these up to avoid paying that subscription. And that's what we're gonna cover here today. I'm gonna to show you how to set it up and how to use it. So to give you an idea of how much these new fees are gonna cost you, let me put on your screen the latest Blink Cloud subscription plan. So you're gonna notice there's actually three plans. The first plan, which I really like the name of, is called Free. You're gonna notice in there, it says compatible with local video storage. That's what I'm gonna show you what to set up today. So the next plan on the chart is the basic plan. This is $3 a month or $30 a year, and this includes one single camera. If you wanna go up from there, you can go to the plus plan. This again is $10 a month or $100 a year, and that's for unlimited cameras, but that's not really quite true because you can only record up to 120 hours from all those cameras, and at that point, it will rewrite over some of the older footage. So before we jump into the video, I wanna to talk to you about why these Blink cameras have become so successful and what's so special about them. First off, and this is actually why we're making this video is, I think a lot of people like these because there was no cost after you purchased them, there was no cloud subscription, there was nothing, and that's up until now, so that's why we're making this video. Secondly, they are really simple to set up and use. They're wireless, they're battery powered, everything you see here is the camera, so they're really simple to operate and people really like that. So if you wanna learn more about this brand new Blink outdoor camera, I actually did a full comprehensive review just a few weeks ago. There'll be a link to that video right down below and also at the end of the video. So the crazy part about this is Blink is not being forthcoming with any information about how the subscription is gonna roll out. It's like, it's hard to get any detail. So I scoured their website, other websites, and this is the information that I've gathered, and this is probably the best information that's out there right now. So the deal is this, if you created a Blink account after April 15th, 2020, they're coming for you. They're gonna want that subscription. Also, if you own now a Blink Outdoor or a Blink Mini, the brand new cameras, subscription. Now, if you don't fit those criteria, you have an older model, an older account, you might be good for now, but trust me, they're coming for you. So now that you've learned you're on the hook for the Blink subscription, let's talk about what you can do to avoid paying that. First off, if you have one of the brand new cameras, the Blink Outdoor or the Blink Mini, there's a good chance your kit included this right here. This is the brand new Sync Module 2. You can look right there, it says Sync Module 2. This is white. The original version looked very much like this, so some people are gonna be confused. It's gotta say Sync Module 2 for this to work. Now, you also need a thumb drive. This thumb drive can be up to 256 gigs. Now, that will plug right into the side of that SIG module. Now the good thing about this is all the video from your cameras now will be stored on that thumb drive. For the time being to see the files, you actually have to unplug this and put it into your computer. But according to Blink, at some point, the files on here will be available on the app. We gotta wait for that to come, but they say it's on their roadmap. All right, guys, so let me show you the steps you need to go through to configure local storage. You can see here I have a 16 gig external USB thumb drive or flash drive. Uh, it goes by a lot of names. Uh, keep in mind, any files that are on this could be erased when I plug them into the sync module, so be very careful with that. Also, make sure your security camera system's working as you like it before you proceed with this step. So. Let's open up the app. You can see up here, you'll have your cameras and all the way at the bottom, you might have to scroll down, will be sync module, select sync module. From there, select local storage. You can see here, it says insert USB drive. Let's do that. Let's put it right in the side of the sync module two. And over here, it will show you then that it's connected. Over here, it will show you the amount of storage you have. Again, if you want to eject that to plug it into your computer, you need to hit the safe eject button right here. It will safely eject and it's ready to go to plug into your computer. So once you've safely ejected your flash drive from the sync module, go ahead and plug it into your computer. Once the flash drive has been installed, you can easily browse any of the video files from the Blink camera. Let's take a look at some. Yeah, had to slip in a cat video. 
All right, guys, I know what you're thinking, and that is that checking your files on your computer with the thumb drive, that's all cumbersome. But according to Blink, soon we'll be able to access those local saved files right here on the app. That will be awesome. Now, I know this is weird, and I've been ranting about subscribing for the last five minutes, but I'm gonna ask you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in the Blink Outdoor Camera, there's a review right there, so make sure you check that out.